Hi guys, it's about five o'clock in the morning here in Zurich and I wanted to start off this video by giving a quick disclaimer. You guys watch my videos and a lot of you subscribed to my channel. I'm hoping that you subscribe to my channel because I am not afraid to ask questions, give interviews, that other YouTubers, especially other YouTubers in our community, are just afraid to do so. That's one of my niches. I make videos which I know other YouTubers are afraid of reactions from their subscribers. That doesn't mean that I don't respect you or appreciate you. Of course I do. But I need to make sure that I continue to make the content which other YouTubers are afraid to make. And so that brings us to today. This is one of those videos, so I'm hoping you guys could take what I'm about to say with a pinch of salt, because you need to, because I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but these questions need to be said. So with all that being said, on with the video. Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the unapologetic Negropian. In today's video, we are going to talk about the unfortunate events that has happened in the Gambia over the last 48 hours. Yes, we are talking about the African-American couple, the arrivals, the YouTubers, which got burglarized in the Gambia um, some two days ago. We're going to look into what happened and we're going to talk about my hypothesis of what happened because there are a lot of things that has happened which is too much of a coincidence and these questions need to be raised. Before I get into things I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification and please consider supporting us on our new Patreon account. The link is in the description and we are going to find out just what on earth is going on. So first things first, who are the arrivals? The arrivals are an African-American couple who repatriated from the United States to the Gambia with dreams of living out their lives on the African continent. Currently, the house is under construction. Kenny is leading the construction. They seem to be doing an incredible job. In fact, this couple, if you could compare them to Ricky and Cynthia, there is stark contrast. There is a massive, massive difference between these four people. Ricky and Cynthia are a lot more cutthroat. You can see it for yourself, actually. When you watch the videos of Kenny and Terry uh, speaking to the workers, they're very jovial. They are laughing with each other. You don't see that with Ricky and Cynthia, okay? You see Kenny a lot getting his hands dirty, you know, grinding, um, working on his, his storage shed, you know. You can see that this guy is a hands-on guy. And Ricky doesn't do that. Ricky, you normally see, he has his phone and he's walking around and he's sort of, you know. There's a massive difference between these two couples. Kenny and Terry are just a class act, really, and I think they are a testament to uh, the African Americans who have come over to the African continent, who just want to live out their lives quietly, without the fuss, and it, it's, it, they are really representative of the, the African American ethnicity as a whole. You can also notice that things just seemed to be going right for the arrivals. I was going to make a separate video about this because they just seem to be doing everything right. Everything that they have put their minds to, they haven't said anything negative about anyone, and including the locals, especially the locals actually, they've only praised them. It's crazy to see this, to watch their videos, researching this video, after watching the Black Eggs of the Gambia, who are in another world. So what happened a couple of days ago? Well, Kenny and Terry went out and 
when they came back, their house had been burgled. They had taken everything from the household, anything of value. It almost seemed as though they knew what they were looking for. I think it's important that you hear it from the horse's mouth. Take a listen to this. We were robbed. Um, they took everything besides our, our clothing. Laptops, Chromebooks, everything we use for YouTube. They yeah. took all my jewelry. They, jewelry. Took, they just took everything. Okay. Um, Even some of the clothes that we just got. Every, from, uh, every suitcase was ransacked. Um, clothes all over the floor. We went to the police station. Hmm. It just it took a statement. It, it took a statement. Um, it was very, but, it was, mm -hmm. go ahead, I'm sorry. We're just going to keep pushing forward, guys, but, so we just want to come on and let you know that we don't know if we'll be able to do a live tomorrow unless we, yeah, we won't be able to find it, you know, get a laptop or something, yeah, so we I'm, I'm going to scramble around, see how we can get back on track, but yeah, right now, that's where we're at. We won't be able to, won't be able to go live tomorrow, so. You don't know, I mean. I'm, oh, it's possible, but right, I doubt anything it. Anything um, possible. But. I'm going to push for it, so. So that's where we're at, guys, and. It's not going to deter us from moving forward, you know, and, you know, it's not easy, but we're going to keep pushing. So just let you guys know what the situation is, because so, we had uh, videos we wanted to upload when we came home, but uh, I can't upload them with what we have on the phone. Uh, it was targeted, I believe. They knew exactly what to get and where to get it. So that's it, guys as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. It's It'd so sad. Right, yeah. um, and I just want to let you guys know that, um, you know, if you don't see us, you know why. And everything is going to work out together for our good because we trust God. But just letting you know what's going on. We'll be all right. We were violated. So take care. And it was like a violation. Just it was. Just go raped, you know. But um, anyway, thank you. We'll um, be back to you when, it, when we can. And just keep us in your prayers. Thank you so much, family. Bye, guys. Okay. This is incredibly bad luck. Or is it? Was somebody watching them? How did they know when they left? How did they know that they had time to go inside? How did the burglars know how long the arrivals would be out for? How did they know that they were going out in the first place? Now, there are two important things that I wanted you to hear in the end of that video okay one thing is that kenny and terry did not ask for money that is just a class act that is okay they did not ask for money they just wanted to let people know right that it has happened another thing i wanted you to hear at the end of the video was when kenny said that he thought that it had been arranged uh, it was targeted, I believe. They knew exactly what to get and where to get it. This is really important. This had to be orchestrated. It had to be orchestrated in a way in which burglars knew that Kenny and Terry were going to be out and were going to be out on that day for a good number of hours. Because Terry's jewellery got stolen. Now, you don't just leave jewellery anywhere, do you? You hide it. You put it in a certain place. You put it in a safe place. So if these burglars were coming into that house, they must have had time and known that there were going to be valuables there and known that they could take their time looking for those valuables. So they must have known that they were going to be out for a certain period of time. I don't think that these burglars were just sitting there watching in the fields waiting for them to go out that's a ridiculous notion they don't know when they're going to go out it's not like they're just going to sit there okay when they go out we're going to go and burglarize them it just doesn't work that way they must have known that they were going out in the first place so how could they have known well we need to take a look at where kerry and kenny were going to that day and this is the part of the video which i was dreading yes this is where things get really interesting you see kevin and terry were going to their land to show no other than ricky and cynthia off the black acres 
of the Gambia. Yes, they took a tour of the arrival's land. And I'm not pointing any fingers here, but it is a massive coincidence that the person that knew the exact time that Kevin and Terry were going to be out of their household for is a person who has a history of doing these types of things. Now, as you can clearly see, Ricky's right there, so he couldn't have done it. So who could have done something like that? Well, I'm not going to point fingers again, but once again, where is Ricky's sons? Where are they? They're nowhere to be seen in this video. So there we have it. Whilst Kevin and Terry were occupied with the Bags family, they were being robbed blind by someone at their own home. And we can tell that it happened at the same time by looking at what Terry and Kevin are wearing in their video when they are telling their subscribers that they've been robbed. Kevin is wearing a maroon polo shirt and Kerry is wearing a white blouse. The exact same clothing they were wearing when they were hosting bags at their land. I'd like to take you back to the second video that I ever made about the Black Acres of the Gambia. In that video, I spoke about his criminal history, okay? He has been arrested for theft. That is undisputed. And he even confirmed this himself. You have a situation where you have an African-American couple being invited out of their house to go somewhere else for hours on end with someone who has a criminal history, a history of theft. And what happens is that the rival's house gets broken into whilst they are visiting this alleged criminal. I hope you guys can see where I'm going with this now. I just think that there is too much of a coincidence there. I don't think I can just ignore the fact that it has happened this way, okay? And these guys knew that there were going to be electronics inside there. They had laptops taken, Chromebooks taken, all their, te their tech gear taken that they normally use to go live with. They had all the jewelry taken. Anything of any real value they took. Okay? They even took new clothing. They must have taken their time. This wasn't a rushed job that they ran in and oh, grab this. We don't know when they're coming back. They could have just popped down the road for uh, 10 minutes. We don't know where they've gone. Let's rush in and rush out. No, no, no. These guys took their time. They knew they had time. They knew they had time. And that is too much of a coincidence, guys. Too much of a coincidence. And this is why I have to ask this question. Actually, I'm not even gonna ask the question. You know where I'm going to with this. Because I've gotta be careful, remember. I've gotta be responsible with, the, with what I say and the way I say it. I have to be. This is my platform, I have to be responsible. I think that Terry and Kenny have questions that they need to ask themselves right now. Oh, I'm being visited. Good morning. I know, I know, baby. We're going out soon. We're going out. Good morning. It must be cold in there, right? I mean, think about this. You have Kenny and Terry going out there, building. They've got no one saying anything negative about them. They are saying nothing negative about anybody. They seem to be getting along with everybody. Their house is getting built and everything is just hunky-dory. And with the bags, it is nightmare after nightmare after nightmare. Video after video after video of negativity, bad vibes, bad energy coming from their videos vitriol which is being conjured up and fed to their supporters and their subscribers. I know the type of person who Ricky is. Ricky's a quite a vindictive person. You can see that in his personality. This is the reason why he was saying all those nasty things about Solomon that time. It's because he's vindictive. He didn't need to say it. He could have walked away, but no, he wanted to say something nasty. He wanted to really drive the knife in and twist it as well. Ricks is not the kind of person who would like that. 
He doesn't like being beaten. He doesn't like other people cruising on by whilst he is there still working on his foundations and you can see that the arrivals are going to come in now and they are going to overtake them right they are going to overtake the black acres of the gambia with their project it's as simple as that they're going to overtake them they're going to be building their house very soon and living in it whilst the bags are probably still going to be working on the foundations so what are the questions that kenny and terry need to ask themselves they need to ask themselves this were the sons of cynthia and ricky around that's all i'm asking were they there at the time did you see them there did you lay your eyes on them uh, ask yourself that question i'm not pointing fingers but i'm saying that that is just too much of a coincidence and you also need to ask yourself this would ricky and cynthia have the impetus to do that that's a question you need to ask and answer for yourself i really really hope that i am wrong with this one but you guys after listening to what i've just said there i think that you guys are smart enough to know that it is also too much of a coincidence another question they need to ask is can ricky and cynthia be trusted do you trust them do they come across as trustworthy um, people do they come across as people with integrity people who do as they say these are questions you need to answer for yourself guys that's all i have time for for today i really hope that terry and kerry see this one through and i'm really really appreciate the fact that these guys didn't straight away go and blame africans okay because that's what other people would have done another thing they didn't do is they didn't straight away another thing they didn't do is they didn't straight away another thing they didn't do <laughs> come on guys i'm going to reiterate what i've been saying in my videos over the last few months you cannot trust diasporans because they are from the diaspora we've seen this many times with other diasporans who have gone back to the continent to leech off other diasporans because they couldn't make it over in the united states or back in the uk they couldn't make it there and now that they're in africa they have their feet firmly set on the continent they are looking to exploit other diasporans who are moving back to the continent and who may not know um, the continent as well as they do they've moved back for that specific reason and you have to be aware of this they will rob you blind no matter what and then look you in the eye afterwards and say it was the african continentals that did it they will do that without a doubt okay and you need to be careful of this it'd be really good to hear what you think about this do you think that a continental has done this burglary do you think it was organized do you think a diasporan did it do you think a diasporan family did it let me know in the comment section below it'll be really good to hear what you have to say about this a okay, thank you for watching thank you again to my patreon subscribers uh, and i will see you in the next one until the next time please think twice to a bit